uh, Mega Beat Beast, who is our second seed. I'm kind of interested to see how these two play each other. I don't know exactly where Albert's from. I don't even know if these guys have interacted with each other before. Uh, but this is probably a similar situation to what we've seen before, where it's going to be Albert kind of having a very slight advantage in that an opponent doesn't really understand his character because he plays a character that's very uncommon. And his opponent's going to have to just kind of figure out what's going on. Not to say that Albert's going to have an easy time of it. Uh, his character is still not widely used for a lot of good reasons, but he is very skilled with it. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. Alright, Mega with a pretty good approach. He's playing very defensively until he figures out what the... where the lag is, kind of. But when he gets his Nair, he's ready to come in. Alright, good wait. Shot put is a very scary of projectile. It covers a large amount of space. It's kind of slow. Which you'd assume like a speedy projectile is preferable, but honestly a slow projectile can be much more threatening. Just due to the fact that like it can cover it can cover a large amount of space, it can cover approaches. And a really good nair from Albert just finishing the stock. Oh, but Mega's like, yo, tech in place? Nah, Trump. Don't do that. All right, the shot put covering um, Albert's recovery there. <laughs> okay, I re actually really like these parries. Yeah. You're usually like, yeah, it's a slow projectile, so parrying shouldn't be an issue, but it's still Wi-Fi, so it can be really scary to try to parry anything. And a good tech, Albert was ready to get the jab lock, which got him the win, which got him the uh, the, the final kill on Dave Create last uh, his last match. And the down throw to up be not quite enough, even on the platform. Never forget that X up B is a great out of shield option. And good wait, waiting for the flip kick to be over before he went for the punish. Now, Mega's definitely looking for an opportunity here to take the stock, and Albert sitting in shield but getting a really nice nair to kind of force some extra space into the matchup. See, like, Albert is definitely looking for some kind of kill, but Mega, Mega narrowly not killing him with that dash attack. Oh, he tried to use the up to extend it and ended up just slowing it down. Okay, okay, interesting. No, oh, it's sad. Yo, sad reacts only, bro. <laughs> Super armored to down here. Okay, Mega, I see you, dude. So remember that um, me brawler side beat cannot kill the the grab, the down beat flip kick totally can kill. No, main point of side B though is definitely for damage. Yeah, and um, Mega's like, yeah, let me set up. Dude, that damage is pretty good too, though. 16 damage for a uh, for a command grab is pretty decent. Yeah, and um, Albert's like, yeah, you're holding shield, dude. You're, you're really shielding against me. I do have a command grab, my dude. I can grab you from pretty far away. It just keeps doing it. He's like, yo, you're not safe if you keep naring and then just shielding away, dude. You're not safe. You'll never be safe. Is doing some good damage, though. He's about to get uh, Albert into the kill percent. But Albert is holding on to his flip kick specifically to try to get his opponent off guard. And there's a very strong chance that it's going to come into play soon. Now that Mega is almost at kill percent. Oh, he went for the double nair. He was looking for that neutral air dodge. But Albert just air dodged through and was able to get through. 
That's not gonna kill. Uh, the side B is a great move, but it's not a kill move. Mega going for the ledge. This is kind of a risky situation for Mega. And this might be... No, he doesn't have a kill move, I guess. Alright. He doesn't have a kill throw, even at 160. Crazy. Or does he? He does? It's weak as hell, but it did the job at 180. Albert takes the first game. Despite the fact that that was a slow as hell kill move, uh, F throw barely did the job, but Albert being very conscientious of his, uh, of where exactly he is on the stage, like how much, uh, what percent Mega's at. You even see like that early kill with Mare. I don't think any of the kills on Mega were at any low, low over a lot. I don't think any of the kills on Mega were at a low percent. They're all like really high percent kills. So like Albert had to work for all of these stocks, honestly. A very unfortunate SD there from Albert. Mega has the kill power. He has the ability to kill everybody, to kill uh, Albert way earlier than Albert can kill him. But the way that Albert's been playing the set is very smart. Like he's been, uh, he's been taking his shots. He's doing a lot of damage. He's getting people off stage, and he's just trying to force situations where he either has guaranteed damage or the ability to get someone off the stage and force them into victory. So it's very smart in this part. So we're going to Three, PS2. Two, one, go. There are honestly many times when Mega had an opportunity to get a kill if he's able to get the link up. And PS2 is very conducive to that overall. So I can understand why Mega went for uh, would want to go to the stage. You can get two Nairs, so you can kill people significantly earlier than you can if you, uh, on most other stages. There's also a, lot, a little bit more move to, room to move around, so shot put's uh, effectiveness can be reduced a bit. All right, good, uh, good roll away to prevent the command grab and an F smash to the four. I think he might. Nah, he had his jump. Very good reservation of the jump. All right, Mega getting the Nair combo that he's looking for and taking the first stock. Oh, we're barely not getting the kill on the down on the uh on the All right, good use of the uh the super armor from the up It is super armor on startup. So it's very effective in those kind of situations. Oh, and how unfortunate. I'm not sure if Albert misinputted that up or not. Alright, Mega for the first time having a solid advantage, and that might be the stock, but he did not let go of the eruption quickly enough. He wasn't expecting him to go for the super uh, for the super up close one. Alright, Mega will hold it for the first time the set, holding the uh, only a pretty solid lead, almost a full stock. But Albert's not gonna let that get him down. He's going for it, man. He's going for it. Mega's going for it, man. One of the things Mega likes to do is he likes to try to hit people out of their jumps so that they have to make a 50-50 where they try to land with an aggressive option or with an air dodge, and he tries to read it. And he actually does a pretty decent job of reading them for the most part. I do really like... Oh, 
Oh, so well spaced. What a nice uh, F smash. Mega opting to go onto the stage as opposed to going for the ledge. Ends up regretting that decision. And that's gonna be the stock. I'm not sure if Mega went, if Mega didn't go for the up air because he wasn't sure if it was gonna kill, or if that was a misinput. But you know what? It doesn't matter. He got the F tilt. That's it. We're one one, boys. I submit to no one. He submits to no one. Is what I hope it also said on the stream side because I'm watching a totally different feed. It did. Okay, cool. He submits to no one. All right, guys. <laughs> can can Ike style? I should get into my moderator chat and do a, uh, a poll. Alright guys, I need to know, can Ike style? I have a poll up. The results will be coming shortly. Alright, yeah, we're pretty even game so far. Uh, they used to three platforms. This is not a bad stage for Ike, all things considered, but holy hell, man. Oh no, he reversed it because he got scared of the down smash. I respect it. But he was not high enough and didn't have enough aerial mobility after the up was over to get back. Alright, good 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 uh good counter. Gotcha indeed. I had to get back onto the stage because he didn't he didn't uh, reverse it. Mega holding a decent lead. Albert not quite able to get the kill yet. Um, Mega's playing super in shield. Uh, there's one thing we've learned is that he doesn't have a good way to kill me in the air unless he uh, unless he gets an aerial. His command grab is not strong enough to do it. But is up be almost killing? That's definitely it though. <laughs> Mega just threw out the up smash. My man's just like, yo, just walk into this. Fight back. Yeah, Mega's trying to get a little bit of damage on. He's finally got a hit in, but you know what they say. Your combo can become my combo at any moment if you screw up. And Albert's trying to stay outside of Mega's effective range. Very smart. You can see like that upbeat doesn't really carry you that far, all things considered. Oh, Mega wanted it. He wanted it so bad. Albert not doing the B, uh, not doing a, uh, a roar back air that might have killed. Getting a good shot put, but it wasn't. Neither of them are quite enough to put Mega into the blast zone. All right, good, uh, good air dodge from Mega. 
And you see, like, one of the reasons that, uh, that Albert decided to go to the stage is because his character does have a wall jump, which offers him a lot of extra movement options, but he can use his down B super early to come back. He's not necessarily restricted to using it to get back onto the stage. All right, here we have Albert for the first time, um, at a huge, not really the first time, at a huge disadvantage right now. He's got to find some damage, and earlier he was able to do it using side B. You see Mega's trying to keep an eye out for it because of how many times he got hit by it in previous matches. And right, there we go, this is the first side B, and that's Mega losing his stage advantage, but he dropped in with him on a, with a Nair and killed him in the up air. Jeez. You get no sympathy from me. Nair is... Alright guys, you know, Paul is still going. Can I style? Right now it's 19% for possible, 17% for improbable, 31% for hell nah, and 33% for hell yeah. And probable still sits at a 0%, so we probably can't style. So you guys can use all your channel points, all your dev stars that you've saved up over your lifetime of watching House 3000 to, to push for your, uh, for your personal favorite. So please, feel free. You can vote with your not wallets. <laughs> you guys are loyal. You can you can try to sway things in your direction. I don't know why I put so many kind of options, but all right. Oh man, impossible shoots into the lead with thirty three percent. Oh, but hell not takes it back with thirty nine percent. And oh my god, I'm, I was just talking about this one so. <laughs> You know, Mega taking, uh, <laughs> Mega taking game three pretty well overall. Ah, you losers. I'm at 76,000. But I'm also the caster and a part owner of the channel, so it makes sense I'd have a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we have, uh, we're going to Battlefield this time. My man dashed into him and he went like, nah, I'm gonna cut you in half, dude, it's fine, it's all cool. Yeah, so Icon Battlefield is a really good stage for, for Ike. Even more so than, um, than Yoshi's, because honestly, I can kind of follow you up to the blast zone, you know what I mean? What, what, what was that? Mega, what was, did your shield button broken, bro? You're like, I'm gonna look at you out of my shield just to change things up a little bit. Oh, dude, he barely did not get hit by that. Holy crap. You know what, that shot put did not end up making a difference because uh, Mega was dead anyways. But man, he kind of... That just kind of accentuated it. That was more of an exclamation point on top of a, on top of the sentence that was that stock. And here we see like the uh, slightly bigger blast zones of Battlefield are coming into play. If Ike isn't allowed... If I can't get onto the platform specifically to extend the combo, he cannot get the... Uh, he might have a slightly harder time killing the upper. Ooh, and a very well placed F tilt. Expecting the kickflip. Uh, honestly, that kickflip is not as good as the SS's. It's still a very good move because of the mobility and the killing power it offers. But due to the fact that like it has kind of a lower parabola, uh, it can be kind of tough to come down with that on an enemy. Oh, and a good use of a uh, of a uh, of me brawler's up B to try to force a kill, but not quite getting it. And I really like the fact that Albert's like, okay, I jabbed, you did not get jab locked. Okay, I'm just going to back off for a second, and I'm going to give you space. You know, we can talk about this later, you know, after dinner, let's just chill out. Let's not confront each other too much. You're having a ball in your mouth. Hmm, a really good back air, very nice. Oh, 
Right, Mega with a pretty big deficit he's got to make up here. But nice Nair combos. Perfect coverage on the platform to get him some easy percents. Mega in disadvantage again. Not able to come down with the Nair to get the kill. Ooh, but that Nair into back air, very well placed. He wasn't at a DI where uh, where Nair to up to up air would have been possible. Okay, you know what? I respect it. Albert made a mistake and Mega capitalized. Very nicely done. But you know what? Mega is dead. He got his legs kicked off. He no longer can walk. This poor man. Also, with 49% of the vote, we're finding out that Ike cannot style. And we had 24% of the point say, of the vote saying that he can possibly style. And another 24% saying that it's improbable that he can style. Regardless of whether Ike can style or not, Mega cannot DI, apparently. As he gives up the fourth game and it goes down to match set point. Alright guys, we have less than a minute left in the poll. Right now, Helna is winning with, a, with an astounding 55%. It's finally being confirmed that Ike, in fact, cannot style. 57%. No one is out here defending this man. 400 votes for hell no. This man cannot style. Ike will never style. Things that Ike can do... Styling? Nah, you can't. Who would have thought? <laughs> Alright, guys, and Hell Now wins with 60% of the vote. I cannot style. Confirmed. And thank you to Jubs NYC for contributing 4,500 channel <laughs> to voting. Very nice. All right, guys, we have um, we have Icon Kalos. I don't know if Mega thought about this counter pick, honestly. Like, consider this, man. You gave him a way to recover easier against. You. Are you sure that was worth it? Was that a good idea? Like, he has a wall jump, you know? He can he doesn't have to try to recover you anymore. Oh, look at that. Like, I don't know, man. I'm expecting Mega to be like, okay, I, I, I don't respect the counter pick, but that was pretty, that was, that was pretty good. Kill. He actually spot dodged and he managed not to get punished. <laughs> like, the most, like, lethargic response to that jab I've ever seen would be like, Yeah, I'm just gonna F-Tilt once you're done doing that, bro. It's fine. You're done with your kickies? I'll just, I'll just cut you. Alright, Albert managing to get some damage in. He's trying to bring this back. Oh, man, that shot put. Pushing Mega off the- Ooh! He's like, yo! Yo! Okay! That was kind of sick. That was kind of nice. He's like, what? Why would you- Why would you be here right now? Where my fists are. Dummy. Alright, Mega wanted the uh, the neutral air dodge. He's looking for those follow-ups, dude. He's like, I'm not going to go in for the kill until you're actually about to die. No! Dummy! How could you? Albert, no! <laughs> this is definitely not a bad Ike stage, but this is just kind of an interesting pick from that overall. But you know what? It seems to be working for him despite the platform and the, uh... Despite the flat platform placement plus the, um... The fact that it's wall jumpable. This has been a pretty good me uh, pick for Mega so far, honestly. Oh man, he got kicked in the face, but that's not quite enough. Ike is a big fat boy with a big fat sword. The ether is really dangerous. Oh 
You can see like uh, when Albert lands with the flip kick, it is a lot of landing lag on that. Uh, if Mega's ready for it, he can get some pretty good kills, and that up B, not quite enough to kill. It is definitely not ZSS's up B, dude. Despite the fact that it has a very similar kind of trajectory in hitbox. And we see Mega has like, he has, he's on his, he's on his last stock, but Albert still has to open him up. He still has to get that hit to get the kill, and he hasn't been able to. A back air finally finishing off the stock, and Albert is a few hits away from getting sent to losers. Yeah, I, Mega waiting for some kind of reaction. He knew his up air was not going to kill this character. Until at least one or two more hits later, a Nair at the center stage might actually be enough to finish off the match. Now definitely will be enough if he's able to link it into an up air. Mega's playing patient. This man is trying to push his advantage and not quite enough. He was too close to the ledge, so the jab block didn't work. And that might have been it. All right, good damage. We're finally even again. No, he landed with him on a nair, bro. Just chopped his head off. And like that, Mega moves on to winner's finals versus Slank. Congratulations to Mega. He's moving on. And we have um, Albert's going to be playing Skew and Losers to get into losers' finals. Losers sent me, sorry. And on the other side of Losers, we have Z- versus Beast. All right, yeah, good job. Good showing for both of these players. Uh, Mega managing to clutch it out, but honestly, it seemed like Albert might take that set at any point. But Mega's going to stay on. He's going to play Slink immediately. Let me just... Oh, I never queued it up. One second. There we go. And after winner's finals, we'll presumably go to loser's finals. Or loser's semi, sorry.